welcome back to my channel first i do want to say i'm so sorry about the background noise there's like some work being done outside so i apologize if you guys hear the background noise but i just want to say thank you so much for clicking in today's video i hope you guys are all doing amazing and welcome back to another what i eat in a day video before i get straight into today's video i quickly wanted to share with you guys the whole purpose about today's video i've noticed some people on my channel do not have a trader joe due to location and also due to budgeting a lot of you guys asked me to make a video based on a budget version to lose weight and whether i could shop at a different store that's much cheaper and much more affordable which is walmart after going to the grocery store after making my meals if you guys were to ask me and i'm not kidding if you guys were to ask me if i were to shop at walmart if I live closer to a Walmart in my area right now, I would say yes. And the reason why I would say yes is because one, it is so affordable. Found so many food items that were way cheaper. You can find frozen products that are vegetables, fruit, and they are way cheaper. They're literally like a dollar a pack. And when I go to Trader Joe's, some of the frozen food I get, it's like four or five dollars and it can add up. It can get super pricey. I made some new meals which I'm about to show you guys in a bit. I'm not going to be BSing anybody here. I think obviously a lot of people want to make sure they're getting the best like vegetables as possible, getting the most purest food, healthiest food for your health, which of course, like I would love to do that for myself. It is great if you're someone that needs to budget, if you need to find foods that can still be healthy, but also budget your money. I spent in total, I would say about $50, not more than $50. That's with taxes. Just so you guys know, I do live in California, so it gets super expensive out here. All the food that I bought can last you about around two weeks worth of groceries. And usually at Trader Joe's for me, what I buy for two weeks can be be around like a hundred dollars trader joe's can get super pricey i loved all the food that i made in this video it was super tasty super quick to make super easy to make and there's definitely ways you can get really creative with walmart's food option the only thing that was pricey was my keto snack that i got it was like a reese's cup with nine dollars but it was worth it because i got 14 pieces and that's, I would say it's a pretty good price. Also, it's super healthy and it is a filling snack. It's really good. Other than that, everything was super cheap. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy some of these new meal ideas. Again, you don't have to shop at Walmart just because you're watching this video. Um, hopefully, you just get some like food inspo out of this or just ways to be creative with budgeting your money if you are trying to save money more and yeah i really hope you guys enjoy and we will finally get into the video right now
right guys that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoy ooh, i really hope you guys enjoy some of the meal ideas um if you did please let me know what you guys think in the comments um if you guys have any video suggestions that you would like me to create if you want me to create more budget video ideas um let me know in the comments i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys all so much and i hope you have a beautiful rest of your week and i'll see you guys in my next one bye